Hello, welcome back. Well, this is by request, something new. This is, uh, I guess it's Modicia OS or Modicia OS. All right, well, perhaps that's a bad analogy. Uh, Modicia, we'll just call it Modicia OS. Uh, very nice looking desktop in my brief look at this. So someone asked me to take a look at it. It's something brand new, at least it's brand new for me. This is the ultimate desktop edition of Modicia. And we're going to take a look at this uh, in a live off a live USB stick and see what we have. I did notice that Simple Screen Recorder is installed by default. Very nice. So I'll just keep that up and hopefully this will work fine. All right, let's browse through this. And um, this has been ranked, I think, on the blog, on the website. Someone gave this a five star rating. Interesting. There aren't too many distros I've tried that I would give five stars. Uh, but let's see if this holds up to that rating. All right, let's right click. And this is um, has a modified version of the XFCE desktop, which is great. I have um, uh, Linux Mint XFCE. Now this is the ultimate version, so this has a lot of software, uh, as you can see. Uh, a nice looking wallpaper. Let's see what else we have. Uh, now this is using up to looks like two gigs of RAM. Considering this is the ultimate version, that's not that unusual. Um, wallpapers here looks like a nice selection. Um, I think I'll keep it the way it is. All right, let's move along. A panel at the top. If you are familiar with XFCE, uh, very easy to customize. One of my favorite things about XF XFCE is the ability to add little shortcuts, a little. Um, uh, applets, um, plugins. In the Mate desktop, they are called applets, uh, such as weather, uh, system load monitor, and so on. So very, very, very nice, very user friendly. Okay, the usual here: time and date, audio mixer, um, <clears throat> and this is simple screen recorder notifications. All right, let's move along here and see what we have under favorites. Welcome to Moto C. We'll take a look at the website here in a moment. All right, the usual here. Let's, you know what, let's just uh, click all and see what we have. 3D Acceleration, 3D LUT Maker. Uh, probably a lot of the software I may not be that familiar with. Um, Audacious, very nice. Audacity, very good. Avidmux, haven't heard that in a while. Bleach bit installed by default. Blender. You have the patience and time. Blender is a great rendering program. Um, let's see. Convert all. Hmm. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Again, running this off a of live USB B stick is going to run a little bit small. Um, converts all strength is the ability to combine units. Looks like meters per second, foot, amperage. Oh, okay. All right. That might come in handy for someone. Let's get out of that. Let's keep on rocking here. Go back to all. Um, uh, let's see. Cecilia. Is that a... What is that? Will it launch or will it not launch? All right. Here we go. Again, a little bit slow off a USB stick. I really should. I I need to install more more RAM on this um, um, PC. Looks like some kind of audio editing tool. Okay. I'm not familiar with this, but okay. Now let's get out of this. How do I close? Close is blanked out. Interesting grayed out. All right, I'll just minimize it then. <clears throat> let's go back to all. Uh, let's see, Blue Griffin Web Builder, okay. Dark table, I believe, for photos, yeah, for images. Um, DV disaster. <laughs> all right, for CD, DVD, media. Uh, fingerprint GUI. Huh, tool for fingerprint, enrollment, and verification. Well, they, they weren't kidding when they said this is the ultimate edition. 
Grub Customizer, I don't see that often. Handbrake, very nice for transcoding media. Uh, let's see, Imagination, DVD Slideshow Maker, very good. Caden Live, excellent, one of the best. Now let's see what else here. LibreOffice. Uh, Luminance HDR. Luminance is a graphical user interface to create tone map HDR images. Oh, okay. Mix. DJ interface. Mode to see a community and news. Mode to see a home. Let me click that. And while that pops up, let's move along. Natron, uh, digital visual effects, uh, Nomex, image viewer, okay. Uh, pulse audio, very good. Uh, Q photo rec, recover lost photo files from the hard hard disk. Oh, nice, nice. Um, C monkey composer. That's probably something I will not use. Celine Media Encoder, very nice. I use that quite a bit for transcoding files. Uh, of course, simple screen recorder, scan light, software and updates, sound juicer. Copy music from your CDs. Sound recorder. <laughs> Stress control. Yes, this is when you try to install Gentoo. <laughs> Let's take a look at Stress control. Uh, huh. I'm not really sure what that is, to be quite honest. Anyway. All right, let's get out of that. Let's move along here. Uh, where were we? Um, Parole Media Player, okay. I use that sometimes. Ristretto Image Viewer. Uh, where were we here? Telegram. Time shift, backing up your files. VLC, installed by default. VMware player, installed by default. Very interesting. Hmm. Window manager, window manager tweaks. <clears throat> we have wine. Wine tricks, XF burn, X media recode, XN convert, and XN view multi platform. Well, they weren't kidding when they said this thing is loaded. Let's go ahead and um, I'm receiving some warnings here off the record. Hopefully, this will work out okay. But let's uh, let's see what we have here. All right, Modus C OS, the really complete operating system, I guess. Modus C is a clean and uh, and complete system with the beautiful D anabolized anabolized XFCE interesting I'm not sure what that means desktop ultimate for professional multimedia users well I guess that would be me um, the the Tico educational school use um, press here um, where did I see what this was given a five-star rating uh, let's do a search. Um, oh, Modisi has a new home. Okay. I guess we'll have to go to this one. Back to Modisi OS cloud. Um, anyway, I think it was, um, Linux Insider that gave this a five star rating, something like that. And uh, boy, it looks really nice. Maybe this is a five star distro. I don't, I mean, without a full install, which I'm tempted to do, uh, this looks really, uh, really nice. But it says here, what a COS is, is it is based on Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, it has a huge software park and online support through the many forums. It follows the releases of Ubuntu LTS. Okay. The support in the case of Modus OS is 18, uh, 18.04 is 10 years. In case you didn't see it, I guess 18.04 will be supported for 10 years. 
Uh, Modacea OS Desktop Ultimate and Lite are official distributions developed and supported by the Modacea development community for its customers and release under the GPL3 license um, open source community. Let me um, um, I think it was Linux Insider that gave this five stars. Modicia Linux with the twist. I want to try to be accurate here because that's that says a lot. Yeah, Linux Insider gave Modicia Ultimate Linux five stars. I don't know. You guys tell me if you want to try this out. Um, uh, yeah, the operating system is pre-configured with the necessary plugins for all the software. A super gooey look and feel anyway um, it does look nice I will say that um, let's move along here this has um, a launcher if I hit the uh, the super key and it should come up here in a moment again you really need to do this as a full install um, there we go a little bit slow you have a, a search bar here at the top and kind of like a unity type panel here to the left this has my open windows I guess we can get rid of that of course I am running a simple screen recorder so uh, yeah I mean this has a lot it's like we have three desktop working spaces there um, hit the escape key, escape key to get out of that um, this nice looking Mac style dock here at the bottom show desktop app finder file manager let's take a look at the file manager um, nice. You know, I often say polish without really looking, getting into that much of the fonts and the graphics. Polish is in its stable. But in terms of what I see, this does appear to be a polished desktop. Duke Toa. Duke, Duck, Duke Toa. I don't know what that is. Um, Stacer. I believe this is a cleanup tool. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Linux system optimizer and monitoring. Nice. Let's get out of that. Uh, continue to work on the system tray. No, we'll just do quit. <clears throat> All right. Mail reader, Firefox, Nomex. What is Nomex? Image lounge. Okay. Let's get out of that. Dark table. GIMP, very good. Kaden Live, very good. Imagination, DVD styler, mix, Audacity, a PDF editor, LibreOffice, and no items in the trash. Well, I don't know, guys. This, yeah, maybe this is a five star in Linux. I don't know without a full install test. The only five star Linux or five stars I would give to a current Linux distro. For the last few years would be Ubuntu Mate because it's just simple and it works. Uh, at least for what I do here, you know, doing videos and editing videos, live shows and all that. But this is very nice looking, uh, different kind of desktop. Um, let's try that. All right. Yeah, that's going to be my new car. Once I hit a million subscribers, that's the car I want. I have no idea what it is. Ah, it is an Alfa Romeo. There we go. Not sure if I will fit in that thing. I'm six foot two. Um, I think I'll leave it here, guys. Let me know. I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. It's definitely has my curiosity. Uh, yeah, something like this, you definitely want um, at least four gigs of RAM to make this run smoothly. Uh, you know, running all the apps and Kaden Live and all that stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, whoever sent me this uh, from Odyssey, thank you. You have impressed this Windows user. That's it, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.